The Walpole Film Festival started in 2003 as one of the first high school film festivals in the country. The program has been recognized nationally as a model for creativity and collaboration in the classroom. Students in the program are required to follow each step in modern independent digital filmmaking. This includes screenwriting, acting, art direction, shooting on digital cameras, editing on professional software, and composing original music. The festival culminates each year with a red carpet ceremony that celebrates the achievements of each crew. To learn more about this year's Walpole Film Festival and how to become a sponsor, please visit our website, walpolefilmfestival.com. Thank you and enjoy the movie. Okay, you've got this. Release your negativity. Maintain your focus. Anticipate his movements. Wait, what was the other one? She said it was the most important. Ugh, I don't have time for this, I gotta go. So, for your conclusion paragraph, you're gonna focus on the overall relevance of your topic. Roger, what are you doing? Uh, sorry, Sue Witt. I'm just really excited for my paper. You sure about that? You really don't seem it. Of course I am. So, as I was saying, for the conclusion paragraph. Roger, why aren't you paying attention? This is the only time he's going over this. Because paying attention's for losers. There's no need. I've literally never handed in a paper in my entire life, and I'm doing fine. Why start now? Never? Why not? Because the man wants me to. I mean, I definitely could write a decent paper, but it's just much more fun to make him chase me. Is that why you said you had the swine flu last year in English, and you got bitten by a mysterious spider that crawled in your bed? You betcha. Still can't believe Cashman fell for that one. Hey, Mr. Wittenhall, I don't think Roger's gonna turn in his term paper. He was just bragging about how he's never turned in a paper in his life. What? How could somebody not want to write a term paper about the Great Depression or, or the Cold War? Maybe because we're normal, but um, yeah, I just wanted to let you know. Thanks for the heads up. So, uh, Roger, what brings you to this section over here? I was looking at some pretty cool history books, actually. You do realize that we're in the fiction section, right? I did not until now, thank you, though. Do you understand the requirements of this paper? Do you have any questions about your topic or anything like that? Oh, no, I am good. Thanks, though, brother. Well, that's good, brother. Um, you know, the reason I ask is because word on the street is that you don't do papers and that you have no intentions of turning this in. Is that true? Oh, no, I would never do that. You know, you're kind of doing this thing like they do in the movies where the character is speaking and the other character is not really understanding what they're saying, but the audience does. It's kind of this sarcastic foreshadowing type of thing. Whatever do you mean? That's what I'm talking about. Mr. Wintonhall, I fully intend to write this paper on time and done well. You know how I chose Theodore Roosevelt for my topic? Mm -hmm. Well, I was thinking, I was going to look into his impact on not only the executive branch, but his impact on the judicial and legislative branches. Most people focus solely on the executive branch, and I really think that's shallow and short-sighted. You know, that's actually a really good point. I'm sorry, I underestimated you. I don't blame you. I do kind of look like a troublemaker. You know, now that you say that, you kind of do. See, it's nice chatting with you, kind sir. There it is again. Gotcha. Mm. All right, so today is all about you working independently to move yourselves forward on your research papers. But that's also going to give me some time to work individually with some of you. I'll tell you what, Roger, why don't you come on down first? Uh, yeah, one, one sec. Uh... So, do you have an outline that I can take a look at? Uh, well... Mine's more of a mental outline. Interesting. You know, uh, what I found over the years is uh, those students who actually develop real outlines, 
uh, they have an easier time organizing their thoughts and writing their papers. Well, yes, sir, but I'm not most students. You see, first I was going to look into uh, TR's impact on the presidency in his own time and for all time. And uh, then I was going to look into his dealings with Congress and how he was willing to use uh, executive orders to bypass them. And uh, after that, I was going to discuss his use of the Supreme Court in the Northern Securities case to further consolidate his power and curry favor with the American people. Wow. <laughs> That's, gosh, I, I think I've underestimated you again. Uh, you clearly know what you're doing. Uh, you do know what the, what the due date is for this paper, right? July 20th, right? Uh, funny, it's May 7th, and that's whether you're in school or not. I know, I know, May 7th. I was actually thinking I was gonna get it tattooed backwards across my forehead so I'd never forget when I look in the mirror. You're trying to bust my chops again, huh? Of course not. All right, well, good luck with your paper. And good skill? Yes, absolutely. It's good to see you're on track. All right, class, so you know what this weekend's all about, right? Yeah, we're gonna party! <laughs> <laughs> nice touch, Mary Jane. Close. It's about finishing up your award-winning term papers this weekend. All right, I will see you on Monday. 12-point Times New Roman font, double-spaced, six pages, on my desk. Have a nice weekend. All right, it's time to turn in your papers. Hand them down to the front of your row. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Wow, even you got yours in on time, Mary Jane, huh? Yeah. Hey, uh, has anybody seen Roger? He wasn't in homeroom. I don't think he's here today. Is anybody turning his paper in for him? All right, let's hope he gets it in by the end of the day. Dear Mr. and Mrs. Payne. Ooh, looky what we have here. An email from Winton Hall, comma, Christopher. Dear Mr. and Mrs. Payne, today was the due date for Roger's research paper that we have been working on for several months. Unfortunately, Roger did not submit his paper on time. Please speak with him about this and encourage him to write it as soon as possible. All right. He has already earned an hour for late submission and will receive an additional hour for every day it is late. Please respond to this email so that I know you received it. Best wishes. Christopher Winton Hall. All right, here we go. Dear Mr. Winton Hall, we are sorry that Roger did not turn in his paper today. We will speak with him and make sure he turns it in soon. By the way, Roger tells us you have quite the impressive tie collection. Thank you for your concern. Sincerely, Mrs. Payne. Good. Well, I guess that whole thing about not turning in papers was just a rumor. Oh, oh, hey, Mr. Wynn. How, how, how's your day going? You got those juniors working hard or hardly working. <laughs> yeah, today was actually the day where they uh, turned their papers in. You remember that from last year, right? Uh, how could I forget? That paper really helped me learn a lot about how to write. You didn't have any trouble getting your paper in on time, did you? Of course not. I had that paper done weeks in advance, like always. People call me a hardo. I'm not really sure what it means. I think it's a term of endearment. It's not. Hey, so you have Roger Payne in your class this year. Is it true he never turns in a term paper? That's the rumor, uh, but I think I should have his paper soon. Um, Mr. Winhall, like, I don't know how to break this to you, but Roger Payne has never turned in a term paper. Like, literally never. I just got an email from his parents saying that they would... Yeah, okay. Just pretend like you didn't hear it from me. Have a good day. Okay. 
Hey, Mr. Winhaw, I got your email. What's up? Well, you were right. Um, I am going to need to get that paper from Roger. I just don't know how I'm going to make that happen. Is there anything you can do to help me? Mr. Winhaw, I'm not one to give advice about slackers, but I think I know someone that can help. Have you ever heard of the legend of Sage? Sage? It goes by one name? Who, who is he? Beyonce? Well, she is only the wisest and coolest girl in the legend of Walpole High School. Supposedly, she has skills at avoiding work that can put Roger Payne to shame. Oh, oh I gotta go. I'm late to NHS tutoring session. Gotta drill those exponents into those froshes' head. But I'm sure she's in the school's attic if you need her. Wait, in the attic? Where? I don't know. I gotta go. Good luck! here at Walpole. The reason I'm here is I was told that you might be able to help me with a problem. I have this student who refuses to turn in this term paper that I assigned like three months ago. He assured me that he would, but I think he's just pulling a long con on me. Can you help me? Ah, uh, the old avoidance trick. Now this may be tricky for newbies like you, but with some intense training, like meditation, I think we can solve the problem. But first, you must learn to think like a modern day teenager. Really? That's supposed to help? I've been doing this 18 years. I think I know what I'm doing. Then why are you here, Lieutenant? I really don't know. Forget I ever came by this place. Yeah, I guess so. Here, have a seat. Yeah, you know, I gave this assignment to some of my students and, you know, everybody else got this, the assignment in on time, but there was this one student who just refused to turn it in. And, you know, he lied the whole time. I just, I just don't know. I, I just feel like a sucker. Want me to talk to him for you? No, no, sweetheart. I'll, I'll, I'll probably be able to take care of it myself. You want me to beat him up for you? <laughs> yeah. No, 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 actually, no. Um, no, it's fine. You know, he's a good kid. He just made some bad decisions. You know, and I just don't know how to get the paper from him. His methods are just more sophisticated than I'm used to. Do you know what cheer you up? Do Stewie. You want me to do my Stewie and Griffin impression? Yeah. How the devil is a Stewie Griffin impression going to help your father? Do <laughs> Griffin. You know what really grinds my gears? People who don't turn in their term papers aren't trying. See, don't you feel better? Actually, yes I do. Papa, it's not the 90s anymore. Maybe you have to think less like yourself and more like your student. You're absolutely right about that. And so is Sage. Thanks, baby girl. Go get him, tiger! Sage, I am so sorry that I was so rude to you when we first met. I've been racking my brain trying to figure out how to get Roger to turn this paper. Whatever you're ready to teach me, 
I'm ready to learn. Ah, uh, yes. When the student is ready, the teacher will appear. Luda? No, fortune cookie. Also play numbers 9, 16, 21, 36, and 51. Got it. What else? We did all. The most important words of wisdom I can give you is to realize why you're doing this. Exactly why do you care so much about this paper? Because this is a major class assignment, and I don't want to let Roger get away with not turning it in. Is it really what you care about? To simply make your students do work that they don't want to do? No, of course not. I want them to learn their history, and I also want them to think for themselves, but I also want them to learn skills that they're going to need later in life, like when they go to college. Then that must remain your focus as we move forward. You must unlearn all of the things you think you know about the modern teenager. A lot has happened since you were a teenager during the Clinton administration. Wait, how did you know that... Knowledge speaks, but wisdom listens. Fortune cookie? Jimi Hendrix. We deny. You have a lot to learn if you want to keep up with the modern teenagers of today. Fair enough. I'm sure there's plenty I could learn. It's just that this kid drives me absolutely nuts. We do not. You must always remember to release your negativity. Anticipate his movements. Maintain your focus. You've learned quite a great deal in the past few days. By the way, who has been covering your classes? I should probably get going. Sage, thank you so much. You've been a total lifesaver. I feel like I could do anything, like climb Mount Everest. Uh, sure. Goodbye, Wheaton Hall. The master herself has conquered the impossible yet again. Okay, you've got this. Release your negativity. Maintain your focus. Anticipate his movements. Wait, what was the other one? She said it was the most important. Ugh, I don't have time for this, I gotta go. Hi, Mr. Winhall. I have my paper. You realize why you're doing this? Thanks. You're welcome.